In today's video, we will be making the most popular brunch cocktail around, the Mimosa. So we're gonna make the drink, we're gonna talk briefly about its history, and then we're gonna do a side-by-side -side tasting on a more classic version of the Mimosa and a much more modern version of it as well. Stay tuned to the very end because we're also gonna show you how to transform this very simple cocktail into something really special. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and delicious cocktails. So we're actually gonna make two versions of the mimosa here in a second, but before we do, let's talk about the history of the drink. So the mimosa actually started its life off with a completely different name and it was known as the Bucks Fizz. So in 1921, the Bucks Club in London had a cocktail on their menu that was a combination of champagne and orange juice. Now fast forward to 1925 and the Ritz Hotel in Paris had a cocktail on their menu called the Mimosa. Now the big difference between the Mimosa and the Bucks Fizz was the ratio of champagne to orange juice. The Bucks Fizz was much heavier on the champagne, much lighter on the orange juice, where the one from the Ritz Hotel was much more of a 50-50 combination of champagne and orange juice. Now a little known fact or a little anecdote that I heard of was that the reason why this particular cocktail is so popular in the United States is because it was introduced in San Francisco in 1940 by none other than Alfred Hitchcock. So now let's go ahead and make both versions of the mimosa and taste them side by side. So now it is time to go ahead and make both versions of the mimosa. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by making the Bucks Fizz, and then we're gonna make the more uh, kind of popular version of the Ritz Hotels uh, next. So the Bucks Fizz is actually gonna be two thirds uh, sparkling wine, and then we're just gonna do one third of orange juice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball that. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the other half on this one. There we go. So once again, box fizz and the mimosa. So just top this off with the oranges. And here we are with the Ritz Carlton version of it. So there we have it. So now is my favorite portion of the video where we do this side-by-side -side tasting. So first of all, here we go. Mmm, that's actually really good. Nice, light, refreshing, delicious. Now, let's try the Ritz version. Very different. So this one obviously is a little bit more sparkling, um, has a lot more focus on the sparkling wine, where this is much richer and rounder. The orange juice has a lot of sugar to it, so it really rounds out the mouthfeel of this particular drink. Personally, and ironically, I actually prefer the much uh, older version of the Bucks Fizz. Uh, the reason I say ironically is because this is the more modern version of the Mimosa that we see today, but it's also the oldest version that we see as well. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, much lighter, crisper, focused on the champagne, much richer, rounder, more focused on the orange juice. Now let's talk about how we can transform this simple cocktail into something different and special. So these two cocktails actually illustrate a really good point, and that is balance. Simply by the act of adding more or less juice, you kind of transform this cocktail and change the balance of it a little bit. So definitely something to keep in mind. Now when we take a look at the drink, one thing I would really focus on is the juice. When we take out the orange juice and replace it with pretty much any other fruit juice, it's gonna be a delicious cocktail. So pineapple juice, a pomegranate juice, grapefruit juice, you name it, it's gonna be pretty stinking good. Now, one other thing I would highly recommend is either doing a partial substitution or a full substitution of the juice for sorbet. Now, sorbet packs a lot of flavor in a very small amount of volume, and it will transform this cocktail and make it that much better. Um, so as you can see, the mimosa is a really easy cocktail to transform and make into something really, really special. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and put your favorite variation of the mimosa in the comments below. So there we have it. We have made two different versions of the mimosa. We've talked a little bit about its history, and more importantly, you stay tuned to the very end where we discuss how easy this cocktail is 
to transform with a simple substitution. So if you like this cocktail video, definitely hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you will get notified anytime we release cocktail videos similar to this one. Until then, I hope you guys enjoy whatever your favorite version of a mimosa is. Cheers. Thank you.